back to my YouTube channel. So in the previous video, we have seen the paper and the results. Now let's see what they have actually released for us to use. And I'm on their GitHub repo now. And let me walk through uh, what they have given us here. And first things that I notice over here is the repo was uh, created three days ago. And uh, if you can also look over here, there is like 13.6 case stars, which is like really good. And uh, really people are excited about this. And there are 792 folks. I think people have started actively contributing to this by fixing any bugs and all. So let's see what's in there. So we can notice that deep sea goes here master. So this is the folder which contains the main code. And we have the paper, which is the actual research paper that we have just seen in our uh, previous video. And the requirement uh, file is just the dependencies that we need. So now let me go through the readme section. So if we notice over here, uh, the main installation uh, for installing this thing, they have recommended to have the CUDA and PyTorch and Python. Uh, all these are like bit latest uh, versions that you need. And you can install it, like you can clone it directly or you can use Kunda or uh, the packages installation that you can do from the very file that they have provided over here. And then if we scroll to uh, VLLM inference, so this is interesting. They provided two ways to use their model, which is VLLM and uh, the other is transformers. So um, for production and high throughput, uh, you can use or go for VLLM. And for transformers, like for mostly you can use it for experimentation and easier to use kind of thing. So the code if you just look at this particular code the code is like really straightforward pretty straightforward and uh if you notice even they are yeah i think like yeah this is like really good code wherein you can directly paste your images like the path of the images and then you can get the output over here over there and even the same thing goes with the inference this is also uh, a very straightforward thing and uh, we will be able to see the same thing on the hugging face page as well and if we move to the supported notes over here you can see that uh, they are giving the data resolution and dynamic resolution so wherein we have talked about as the tiny small base large how many tokens uh, are there and the dynamic resolution it's around uh, 1024 by 1024. So all modes from the paper uh, that we have read are actually implemented over here. And uh, even the prompt examples that they have given are like really super helpful because they there are prompts like uh, take this particular image and then convert this document to markdown or OCR this image, uh, free OCR, parse the figure. These are like really short and good prompts and now uh yep yeah. so uh, we are like end of end uh in the readme file but yeah but here is the thing that if you want to really run this particular model locally you need an nvidia gpu with at least 16 gb vram and preferably you can have more like kind of 24 gb or more and you need around 20 to 25 GB disk space for the model and the dependencies. And obviously you need to install uh, the CUDA 11.8 version. But if you don't have that setup, um, just don't worry about it. Well, I'll give you an alternative that you can use it for free. Um, and before that, like, let me show you also Hugging Face page uh, because that's where the actual model weights are hosted. Okay, so let's walk through that. So if you notice over here, this is the official model page and you notice there are like around 14 point, uh, like sorry, it's around 1.4 uh, K likes already. And it's just been like less than three days now. And uh, key things that you can note from this particular uh, pages, there is a, uh, there are 
three to four things that they have mentioned over here. One is like model type, which is uh, image to text, image text to text. And then the license is fully open source, which is an ID. And uh, languages are multilingual, like around 100 uh, languages that they are supporting. And frameworks are safe tensors, like this is like more secure than Pickle. So uh, that's the main thing. Uh, go through the file line versions. If you see here, Deep Sea Corsair, which is around 6.68 GB, and if you can look at the safe tensors, it's around yeah 6.67 GB. So the strange thing that I've noticed when I'm using this on Colab notebook is somehow uh, when I'm trying to download the model, the disk space and the CPU uh, part, it's like really spiking up and maybe uh, there are like few other operations which are happening when they are trying to download but it's really eating up my entire space and it wasn't uh, downloading at all so to do the same thing what i have done is i have went to the kaggle because it will be able, like it's giving you a free gpu and even the space is very good so you can use the kaggle notebook to set this initial setup and then you can go it from uh, take it from there like you can do any experimentations or uh, buy any computational resources that you want i have logged into kaggle.com so once you land upon kaggle.com you need to sign in if you already have an account if you don't have an account just sign up and uh, it's free so you don't need to pay really and once you have signed up, um, so what you need to do is you need to verify your uh, identity, like you need to verify your email address and phone number. So that's when you will be able to uh, use the GPUs. And as we have already seen that we have to have a GPU connected to use this particular model. So here I'm using GPU P100 because it gives 16 GB uh, RAM. So I have I'm using it. You can also go ahead with GPU T4 uh, by 2. Uh, sorry for this. And uh, once you, what you need to do is you need to install all these libraries. And once you install all these libraries, make sure that you restart the session. And then you can check um, the PyTorch version, CUDA, GPU, and uh, the compatibility, everything. So once you have it, you need to just make sure that you have the flash attention version and it's ready to use then um, i have just pasted the same snippet that we have seen in the github uh, page and as well as the hugging face model page so what we are trying to do over here is you can see that we are trying to load the model in float 16 and we are uh, mapping it to auto so that uh, it will be mapped uh, to the gpu and once we have loaded that would uh, we are ready to use the model so what i have done is i ha i have created my own data set over here like which is like ocr vj1 so wherein i have kept in a uh, few images so few are in tabular format few few are in handwritten uh, few are in voice kind of a, a data and uh, few are uh, just handwritten thing and other is like kind of entirely the tax invoice. And uh, the other one is like kind of a handwritten form. So let's see uh, whether we will be able to uh, get the results out of this or not. So for the first one, uh, so what I'm giving the prompt here is describe this image in detail. So I'm telling like, okay, describe me the entire image in detail and i'm giving sd19 so sd19 is nothing but this particular image is uh, this handwriting sample form and if you notice over here it has extracted and given me what exactly it's describing this image like a handwritten form titled uh same thing and this form includes field for name date everything that we are seeing in the form and it's really doing a good job over there. It's also giving how many image tokens are there, like what are the output text tokens that it has given and what is the compression ratio, which is really good. 
and then um let's look at the other image which is uh, the first one which is a poetry uh, if you don't remember it i'll just show it again so here it it talks about nature teaches us simplicity some kind of poem over here so now uh the same thing if you read from here the nature teaches us uh followed by another line below it which read simplicity so it's describing everything in so detail and you can see here the compression ratio is 0.57 which is like good and uh, then we have the um the other image which is comparative study of uh postcr systems so this particular image and just show to you what exactly that is yep so this is a, a tabular format so i wanted it to uh, describe this image so let's see so here if you see it has extracted it in a very beautiful way like kind of it it's giving me columns image category existing characters google doc ocr tesseract abby find reader transim everything and you you even see your detailed breakdown over here which is talking about what is like what is the value which is present in each table and one important thing about kaggle is you have a time limit which is usually 12 hours per session and internet access is sometimes restricted so but uh, when you are using it for experiment and testing it's perfect but if you want to use this in production you would deploy it using vllm on your own server or cloud gpus like uh, what we have seen in uh, github repo all right let's wrap this up and what did we learn in this two video series we have learned that deep seek is uh, with the help of this deep seek model we can compress text 10x by rendering it as images and still we can get 97% of accuracy and it's nearly lossless and why exactly this matters is first thing is it is an excellent ocr model which is present as of today and second thing is it challenges how we think about context windows maybe we don't need perfect memory for everything maybe older context can be compressed like human memory and the third one is it ask a bigger question should llms process everything as images instead of text tokens or that's a wild idea now seems but it is possible and the reality check that we need to do here is there is already a proven thing for the ocr like they have proven this for the ocr not at proven for general context compression and there are limits obviously uh, sometimes text might get blurry at extreme compression and encoding images might uh, cost more but this is really fine and good research reframes problems and this paper does exactly that this isn't just another ocr model it's a new way of thinking about compression memory and how vision and language can work together so deep seek keeps pushing boundaries with different ideas not just bigger models that's what i love to see uh, if this was helpful please like share and subscribe and drop a comment what's your take on this is this the future or just a clever trick all links are there in the ex uh, description below so go experiment with it see you in the next one Bye.